three months after the Nigerian government promised to arrain about 400 alleged Boko Haram sponsors and financiers of the deadly sect, the government appears to have mellowed down on the prosecution. Sahara reporters learned that the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, is covering up the identities of the sponsors, many of them being from a region of the country, while there is also a plot to score to their prosecution. Three months and no prosecution has been heard about the 400 sponsors and founders of Boko Haram and Bandit. It is an ongoing cover-up by Malami, the top source stated. Sahara reporters had in April reported that Malam, you know, Malami pardon, was unhappy and angry about the recent arrest of the person allegedly found in Boko Haram, including operators of some Brio the Change who facilitated the transfer of money to the terrorist. A top source in government had told Sahara reporters how Malami was oppressed, you know, opposed, pardon to the raid and subsequently at longer head with the tax force for carrying it out. The series of arrests were made in Kano, Bono, Abuja, Lagos, Sokoto, Adamawa, Kaduna and Zafara according to a Daily Post report. It was also reported that traders at the foreign exchange open market in Wapa, Fage local government were picked up on March 9, 15, and 16. Sahara reporters had revealed that apart from Malami opposing the raid, he also opposed having the names of those arrested released to the public. Malami was opposed to the raid and now he opposes having the names of those arrested revealed. So he is fighting the tax for that carried out, you know, fighting the tax force pardon, that carried out the raid. He is saying it was illegal. You see, some of those arrested were people he had freed through a special fiat court that sat in Niger Delta and part of Abuja. Those guys are wealthy and he wants to collect money from them and let them off, the source had told Sahara reporters. It has been reported that 19 period the change owner by persons with direct connection with Boko Haram were uncovered while over 300 billion was found to have been pumped into the founding of terrorism in the country. So there is a huge amount of money involved transferred through illicit means. Those arrested are reportedly being kept in military and Department of State Service facilities in Abuja and other places. But despite Malami's resistance to having their names revealed to the public, the identities of some bureau the change operators arrested for facilitating the transfer of money to the terrorists have been revealed. Some of them were traders at the foreign exchange open market in Wapa, Fagi local government of Kano State and identified as Baba Usaini, Abubaka Yelu, Afani, Yusuf, Ali Yusuf, Babangida Ibrahim Shani, Hawal Fagi, and Mohammed Lawan Sani, a gold dealer. Despite being the nation that has suffered the heaviest casualties through Boko Haram atrocities for many years, with over 30,000 people killed and millions of others displayed, you know, displaced, pardon, Nigeria has shown weakness in dealing, you know, decisively with the terrorists and blocking their source of funding. Sahara reporters had also in the first week of May reported that the government was set to arraign the 400 alleged Boko Haram sponsors and financiers. The media aid to the Minister of Justice Dr. Omar Gwandu had said that the prosecution of the suspects will commence as quickly as possible. Gwandu hinted that charges would soon be preferred against the suspects, but he declined further comments when asked for updates on the investigation. Meanwhile, three months after, nothing had been heard about 
this opposed prosecution. Sarah Reporters had also today reported that human rights lawyer Femi Falano San wrote to the AGF Malamin requesting for information on the prosecution of the over 400 suspects. In a letter titled Request for Information on Prosecution of Arrest 400 Sponsors of Terrorism in Nigeria, Falano had raised some concern about their prosecution and asked Malami to respond within seven days pursuant to the Freedom of Information Act. The letter dated August 3rd had read, On May 4, it was widely reported in the print and electronic media that the federal government had concluded arrangements to prosecute about 400 alleged sponsors and financiers of terrorism in Nigeria. In the said publication, your office assured the nation that the suspects would be arraigned before the industrial action recently embarked upon by the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, Jusun. In view of the terrorist at, you know, attack being unleashed on law-abiding citizens by the groups of insurgents in several parts of the country, we strongly commend the move by the federal government to prosecute the suspects who were reported to have been arrested in the nationwide operation a few months ago. We however request that our law firm be furnished with information you know, with respect to when criminal charges were filed against the suspect since the strike of Jusun has been called off. Kindly assure that we are furnished with the request information within seven days of the receipt of this letter in accordance with the provisions of Freedom of Information Act. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your own reaction to this present situation? I would like you to drop your thought via the conversation on this present development. As we can see now, three months after the Nigerian government promised to arrange about 400 alleged Boko Haram sponsors and also the financiers of the deadly sect, the government appears to have mellowed down on the prosecution. This has prompted human rights activist Femi Falano San to write to the AGF requesting for information on the prosecution of the over 400 suspects. What is your thought about this? We'd like you to drop your thought and reaction on this that has been said. But before we go, let's see what people have felt concerning this. Let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about the present situation of things in Nigeria. Armstrong Odey reacted to this and said, Boosted, it is not a big surprise. Why do you think the federal government wanted to launch an appeal after a quarter sentenced 10 Northern Nigerian to lengthy prison sentence in relation to founding terrorism. The handwriting is on the wall. Just open your eyes and read it. That is what Armstrong Ode have said. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this that has been said? I'd like you to drop your thoughts and reaction concerning this. Engineer Mark also said, These people, the sponsors, are not Igbos and also they are not from the southern part of Nigeria. If not, by now, they would have been, you know, sounding their names, you know, everywhere. Everybody would have known these people are from the Igbos or probably from the South. What is your thought about this? Like to drop your thoughts and reaction via the conversation on this that has been said. Don't forget that we have seen how Nigerian Attorney General Malami is covering up identities and also the prosecution of terror funders according to what he has been charged with. We like you to drop your thoughts and reaction. Do you think the Attorney General is... You know, probably covering up the identities of these people. We'd like you to drop your thoughts and reaction by the conversation on this that has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.